identify a bogong knot? Well, it has a dark stripe that runs down each wing. And you'll also see on that dark stripe a type of a circle at the top towards the head and a sort of a kidney shape at the bottom. And both of the dots are the same colour. For thousands of years, about 4.4 billion Bogon moths migrated to alpine regions in southeast New South Wales and northeast Victoria. That's really worked, don't they? Ah, oh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. We've rocked it. We've rocked it. Recently, there has been an astonishing drop in Bogon moth numbers. Since 2017, these billions of moths have almost disappeared. Sort of disappeared. Oh, you can always airdrop the. Um... Excuse me, Liz. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? It's actually gorgeous. Oh man, that's really beautiful. Right. Look how gorgeous it is. <laughs> okay. How good does that look? It's amazing. Alright, that's nearly dry. Oh, that's almost dry. Oh, how exciting. Scientists who have counted bogon moths as they sheltered in caves have found that they are no longer there. Yeah, we so, do that. And I'll pass up this A little lady. bit of the board. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna chop it. I'm just gonna chop randomly. Oh, these are actually thinking <laughs> shears. <laughs> okay. So if you do that, and think... then. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Moth numbers have drastically declined. Mountain pygmy possums rely on bogon moths for food. I don't think it needs to be much that much wider than that. Like I wanted a bit wider here mm. to have a scoop, but not a huge amount wider because otherwise you're going to lose the back. Put of your arm wing. down, Deb. I was going to say I think my arm's going to fall off. That's not. <laughs> you know, just run a bit down here to about there, and then you can grab it and make the wings fully flap. That's actually really cool. Yeah, because you still have movement at the back, and you still have movement. I'm just going to take these pins out that are just swinging around with your arm. In oh, there. hang about! I wasn't. I didn't press the button. Now I have. Yeah. Do you want to just line <laughs> them up so you can paint them all at once, one by, and the paint will soak through? Ooh, good idea! Moths are the main food for mountain pygmy possums whilst they are breeding. The possums used to wake up from their hibernation to find moths to eat everywhere, but now this is changing. People who keep a check on the mountain pygmy possums have found that many of them have low body weight and many of their babies are dying in the pouch.
Oh, yeah, just pin it how you want okay. it, and then I'll stitch it all together. So if we do that... Yep, and then I'll stitch it all together. Scientists believe that because the moths are disappearing, there isn't enough food for these tiny possums to raise their babies. And then later I'll just I'll just set the, set the video up and run around like a nutter in it. There are less than 2,000 mountain pygmy possums remaining in the wild. And do you think I need to edge I need to edge them with the yeah, overlocker? Wow. Do you want to go out in the garden and do it or is that a bit too much? No, that'd be great. Or the front, on the front nature strip say, where the enough? snakes live. <laughs> <laughs> I still yeah, don't believe there is a snake in your garden, by the way. No. Oh, the back is gorgeous. It's just that... I don't know about oh, the front of that. Yes. Oh, we just have to paint the front that of the jacket. That is amazing. It just has to be painted. That's amazing. Yeah, it just oh, has and to then be do painted. a bit of flapping. Do it. Whoa! Oh, that's glorious. Is that the one we already made, or is it no, another one? The second one. Oh my goodness! We've got half a costume almost made. So yeah. if we whip up the bits for the other one. We'll be that's right. amazing. Yeah, that one's a gorgeous one, isn't it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What and part of the... Oh, I thought you were eating that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put that in your... I love it. I thought you were eating... <laughs> Am I doing the whole jacket? I love texture on anything. Zoos Victoria has launched the Moth Tracker website so that people can help find out what is happening to our bogon moths. You can be a citizen scientist and contribute to the Moth Tracker data. If you see a bogon moth, please photograph it and register your sighting with Moth Tracker. It is a simple and practical way for everyday Australians to help save the pygmy possum doing today? We are protesting about the lack of action to protect our futures and uh, we're worried about loss of biodiversity, we're worried about loss of the forests, we're passionately concerned that there's going to be gas introduced that we really don't need. Moths join a protest against further investment in gas with Darabin Extinction Rebellion and Darabin Climate Action Now. Country for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Just think about the damage that's happening to Mother Earth. Uh, environmental issues are going to reach you and affect you.